I'm going to show you one of the better blitzes in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the dollar three two out of the four six defensive playbook. And uh, if you guys want to get my entire dollar three two offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. You can get that by becoming a Patreon member today. Uh, for just ten bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to the ebooks. We just updated the dollar defense as well. So if you want to get access to that, it's all in the Patreon. You can sign up by clicking the link down below. Now this blitz that I'm going to show you out of Dollar is kind of a little bit of a twist in terms of the way that uh, Dollar has been uh, ran so far this year. And I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. It's going to be out of Spinner or DB Fire 2. You can do it out of both. And really importantly, uh, what you want to do is you want to turn your auto flip off and you're going to turn your zone coverage on to match. Now, the big, big tip here is we're actually going to call this play flipped. And what you're going to notice is this is going to uh, align really well, specifically against Gun Bunch. Now, all you're going to do here is you're just going to spread your defensive line. You're going to QB contain, and then I like to go ahead and press, um, and then you can shade inside and over top and drop this defender into a hard flat. And when you press, what you're going to notice here is we're going to get a uh, loop concept off of one edge, and we're going to get an edge pressure concept off of the other edge. Now, you can uh, this year, a little bit different than last year, you can uh, feel free to crash your defensive line. So you can crash your defensive line inside or you can crash your defensive line to the opposite side, however you want to do it. And what it will do is it will make that edge pressure a little bit more consistent and your loop pressure should, should still be there. Now, again, um, just by spreading your line, sometimes it will go ahead and press for you that uh, cornerback on the left side. The reason that's helpful is because if we can get that guy pressed, then we don't have to press and Press man-to-man -man is not as good this year as uh, off-coverage man-to-man is. So, you know, just something uh, to kind of uh, highlight here. And then, again, just crash your defensive line down. And what you can see here is typically this left side pressure will come in regardless. And then the loop pressure is really the glitchy pressure that can make this a absolute incredible defense. Now, you can obviously adjust out of this. I'll show you how to run out of DB Fire 2 in just a second. Um, you know, but if this uh, defensive end ever does this right here, the blitz is completely dead, okay? And you just need to basically drop this right side defender into coverage. So if he ever does that little animation like that, go ahead and drop him into coverage. You should still get left side pressure here. I blocked my running back, so we're not going to get any pressure. But, um, yeah, just that's the idea with that. And then, again, just spread your D-line. If you want to, you can move this guy. Uh, and you could actually, if you want to, move both of them down and try to double loop. In my opinion, that's a little bit setup intensive um, in this year's game with quick snaps and stuff like that being a little bit of a thing. So just kind of keep that in mind. But as you can see, we do get really good pressure. So again, if you want to do it this way, just spread your line, QB contain, walk this guy down, and then walk this guy down. And then from there, you can click uh, one click over here, and then you could be on this guy right here. And you see uh, this creates a really interesting uh, looping concept at a dollar. As I said, I'll show you how to do this out of zone coverage as well. A man base, a zone base, depending on what you uh, play currently. If you play more of a zone, you play more man. Uh, I always think it's important to show uh, both. So real quick, what we're going to be doing out of dollar uh, DB Fire 2, a little bit different. You can, uh, because of the stock blitz angles of DB Fire 2, they're a little bit better, as you can see. So uh, if you just spread your line and basically keep it contained just like this, you're going to be in shape and you're going to be in business. And a lot of times you're going to get loop and edge pressure. Now, uh, the one thing I forgot to do is flip my play. Let me show you what happens when you flip it at the line of scrimmage. You see how the defensive linemen shift? That is uh, a big piece of the defense. So just keep that in mind. And again, I like to, uh, you know, recrash my defensive line based on situation. And typically if they block a running back, you're going to get that loop pressure off of the opposite edge, as you can see right here. Um, if they block a tight end, this blitz can still uh, do some damage for you. So if they do block a tight end, what you'll see here, oftentimes it will come off this left side, as you see right there. So they're going to have to max protect to block a sin five pressure, which is what makes this defense super effective. Now, again, there's a lot more to this defense. We unpack everything in the Patreon. Like I said, we just dropped some updates over there as well. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, just become a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks. And uh, it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. I want to thank you for watching the video. And we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page. You can sign up by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below.